Um, my name is Rebecca Thomason and I am from Roselle, Illinois. And I came out today because, um, well first of all, I received a letter in the mail and um, I am um, concerned about um, not only my future but for the, the, my fu my, the future of my children. And um, my husband would have been here today too, but he's working. Um, but we felt it was very important to show up, to show our uh, support of Congressman um, Roscom, and also bring the children so that they can see that we're active and that we are concerned. And um, you know, we're not, um, we're not, um, you know, really vocal. Um, we like what we do, like to, um, you know, show concern, show support, and um, when we're um, concerned about things, we do like to, you know, take action. And this was one of the ways that we just thought that um, we could be active and. Um, you know, just to hear what other people have to say, and um, what makes you mad about what's going on in Washington right now? I don't feel like they listen, and I feel like um, society is—you know—every generation says this, but I feel like society as a whole keeps becoming um, further and further away. Like the gentleman said, further and further away from um, you know from where we started, as far as the ideas of you know, the founding fathers. And I'm very, very conservative, and um, I feel like. Um, they're just, they're not listening to the people and they're just becoming very um, selfish and very motivated um, by their own political agendas and not thinking about, you know, families, family, families like us, families that have children, you know, people that have real feelings, people that, um, you know, have to live and have to work and have to, um, it's not only about making a living and, you know, it just, just people who, you know, like, like we care about, you know, um, you know, silly, not silly things, but we care about, um, you know the way the the debt. You know the debt. But not only that, but you know abortion and um, uh, now I'm put on the spot, so I can't think of all the okay. different issues. But no pressure. you know we're very very concerned. You know more moral things, moral things about um, now I'm put on the spot and I can't remember. But <laughs> sorry. Right. You know just. Um, what would you change in Washington if you could change anything right now? Well, the obvious answer would be to change the president, and that's not a that's not a slam towards him, but towards his ideas. You know, people were very hopeful, very very hopeful, and I don't feel like he's lived up to you know to that reputation of the people. I will say I did not vote for him because I did not believe in him, and I did not believe in any of his ideas, or anything that he he stands for. But that's nothing personal against him. It's just who he is. So I think that um, it just people need to go back to the way it used to be. That's what I would say. We need to go backwards, not forwards. We need to stop changing things, and but we need to go back and figure out um, what worked before. And I'm, I'm not talking about 10, 20 years. I'm talking about you know going back 100 years, going back to these people that um, you know just um, sacrificed and people who um, just started started this country. Right? That's you know that's where I think we need to where we need to put our focus. No, none of this future stuff, none of this, you know, the world is very, very, um, I have to say, very, very selfish. Everyone's very me-focused, I-focused. Um, everyone's out to get something for themselves. And it shouldn't be like that. Things need to, things need to change.